Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon. My name is Sir Chemis. Today we're gonna do a medium length mission in the wield. It is a veteran level. I'm gonna bring a weird party today. We're gonna bring a leper who is going to be our debuffer. We're gonna bring a crusader who has very high stress unfortunately. Then we have a hellion who is going to apply some melee damage, area of effect melee damage to be more precise. And then finally we have our man at arms who's going to be guarding and applying dodge buffs. Yeah, this is kind of a weird party because this is kind of, kind of like the only party that I can take into a veteran level uh, dungeon. All other characters are either level 5 or 6 or they are an abomination which means that I cannot combine them with the leper or the crusader. So basically this was kind of my only choice. It's gonna be interesting to say the least, it's, this is actually going a bit far in my opinion with regards to uh, the experimentation that I tend to do in this game. But anyway, the leper is gonna be using his intimidate ability, which is a debuff skill mostly. I have enhanced it with the debuff amulet, which is kind of necessary because it only has a 110% base chance. I've also given him the focus ring to increase his accuracy and crit. Because otherwise he's probably gonna miss a lot more than I would like. The purge ability is gonna allow us to clear the, f the corpses in the front row. Which is probably going to be important. Because most of our characters can only target the front row. So yeah, that's going to be quite a big deal for this party. Then we have the Crusader. In order to deal with his very high stress. I've given him a hero's ring and a holy order's trinket. Uh, both of them increase his virtue chance by 15%, so that is 30% in total. That should allow him to uh, to deal with any, uh, to avoid any afflictions, basically. It also increases his death blow resists and reduces his stress, uh, the amount of stress damage that he receives. Uh, receives. Uh, it unfortunately also reduces his blight and bleed resistance. A little bit so he's going to be quite vulnerable to that only 60% resistance to either of those so for that reason I've given him the battle heal allowing him to heal himself up a little bit or possibly other characters he can target the back row with holy lance he can stun the front row with the stunning blow and he can deal damage with smite then we have the hellion she is going to be using if it bleeds and breakthrough most of the time. Breakthrough can actually be used from all four positions, which actually makes that skill a lot better than I initially thought. Although, preferably, of course, the Hellion is going to be in the first position. Today, that's not going to be the case, of course. She is probably going to... If she's going to use the breakthrough, she's going to combine up with the Adrenaline Rush, probably, to buff herself up again. Uh, the Ifid Bleeds is going to be our damage over time today, and the Wicked Hack I've equipped simply so that she can do something if she ends up in the front row. Then we have a Focus Ring that I've equipped on her, as well as, well as an Eldritch Slayer Ring, which increases damage versus the Eldritch enemies that we're gonna come across in the wield. Finally, we have the Man at Arms, who is gonna be bolstering because of the uh, Focus Rings that I've given the Hellion and the Leper. It is going to be useful to uh, negate that a little bit. Although probably we're going to also be using the Defender ability. I've also equipped him with the accuracy, with the Command ability, which increases accuracy on a character. I might apply that to the Leper if the situation calls for that. But this is... I'm kind of hoping to be able to use that, but I actually don't think that this skill is that good. A tough ring is going to help protect him even further, and the Ancestor's Lantern is going to help our party with surprises, hopefully. Alright, a lot of, lot of things to discuss here, because this is, like I said, a very weird party, and I'm hoping that we're going to be fine. We're going to bring all the food that we can get, of course. We're going to also bring, I think, even four shovels. Yeah, three anti-venom. Five bandages, two medicinal herbs, a skeleton key, uh, holy water, and torches. Because I think we're gonna need torches today. Alright, complete 100% of room battles, which means that we're gonna go back. We cannot camp in the first room anyway. It's been a very long time since I played this game, by the way. So I hope I still know all that I need to know. Although knowing me, that's not likely to be the case. 
Alright, so there is a battle here, which is good. We did surprise them, which is also great. We're gonna start with, I think... Hmm. Um... Okay, a bolster. I think that's that's definitely the best call today. And you're gonna use a breakthrough that doesn't move you, right? Alright, that's great. A little bit of damage to start with. Try to kill the uh, quivering ectoplasms as quickly as we can. Although it would also be nice if we could get rid of the enchantresses. Uh, too bad we didn't get a kill there. He dodged it. That's kind of alright. I am in no hurry to test the trinkets that he is wearing. And then we have to deal with the quivering ectoplasm. Who in fact manages to land a blow. We also don't really have a healer in our party of course. That may become problematic as health gets lower. But then again, most of these characters have plenty of health. So we basically should be fine. Alright, next round. What are we going to do? We're probably going to do another bolster to be perfectly honest. Although, we probably should have swapped places with the leper because now he is kind of useless. The Hellion is doing fine, although it would have been nice if we had gotten a kill there. Um, yeah, let's go for a kill here. The leper is going to be using his purge next time. Uh, breakthrough or buff herself up. I think that's the better call here. Also a few more hit points. Let's do the purge. They can still use their very nasty ability, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm going to use retribution in this case. Because that should finish her off, but it didn't because we missed. Another stressful incantation. Yeah, getting close to the 100 here. You'll be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Dodged it this time. I'm kind of nervous about that. 12, because I was kind of hoping to crit there. Ah, breakthrough could be very nice. Alright, one of them is down. And then, mm, I think a bolster now. Okay, stressful incantation. Unfortunately, she uh, decided to target the leper, but I guess that's fine for now. Ooh, I missed him. Missed her, of course. Alright. No afflictions just yet. Uh, move him back. Move them around as well. This is stress relief. I believe. Yeah. If I use a holy water with this, his stress is going to go down. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm in no rush to test the... Uh, the trinkets that he is carrying. Not at all. And I doubt that I would make that... I mean, the developers of the, ga of the game. I doubt that I would make this a viable strategy. Uh, having high-stress characters and then uh, getting them... Getting them afflicted... While wearing these trinkets so that they become uh, more powerful. But then again, who knows? Uh, we don't know what is in here, so it could be a battle. No, it isn't. We didn't get a scout, unfortunately. We are gonna go directly south. That seems to me to be the best option. Ooh, dodged it, fortunately enough. I also learned that you can use the tap key to toggle between these two uh, taps. Okay, a giant. Good, I suppose. This is kind of the, the, the test for us today. If we can deal with this, I am actually not that disappointed in this party. But then again, we're probably gonna fail horribly knowing our luck. Alright, if it bleeds, could be good. He doesn't have protection, she doesn't either, but I would like to kill her. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's try to kill her. We don't have that many ways to reach the back row. She did resist the bleed. That is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Bolster, definitely, because we definitely want to be able to dodge his attacks. One debuff, which reduces accuracy. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Let's try to kill her. Nice. 
more stressfully for him, which is kind of an ambiguous feeling for me at the moment. Let's debuff him even further. His debuff currently is 29. 58, okay, not bad, not bad. That is kind of bad, woman. Please put in a bit more effort. He resisted the movement, which is good because he's useless in the back row. Um, uh, let's 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 make her a bit more. Everyone gets the accuracy. Oh, I like it. I always thought it was one character. Amazing. Okay, very nice. Let's try to stun him. Seventy percent chance. That's about forty percent. That remains, I guess. Can I still do math? Um. Um, no, it's 60%. Okay, uh, I'll go, I'll take it. He resisted it regardless, but uh, we did get a crit and therefore a bit of stress relief. Three brand Smackdown, only 11 because he is of course debuffed quite significantly. You do an if it bleeds, we landed it this time. No bleed, unfortunately. Uh, intimidate is the best call here, I guess. Try to make those... Uh, this time he resisted. That's too bad. Uh, more bolster. Oh, man. I wish I had known that sooner about the command ability because now I kind of love it. That that makes him kind of valuable in a party with a lot of uh, lepers, maybe. I'm thinking. Another crit. Stunned him this time. Nice stress heals from that as well. Wow. Alright. No, I'm gonna keep on uh, applying the debuff here. Alright, more if it bleeds. And you bolster. Let's start dealing some damage now. We're not in a hurry at the moment, I think. Poison spores. I was considering giving him better uh, equipment to deal with the uh, blights in the, in the wield, but... In the end, I decided not to do that. Bleed. Alright, very nice. You use one of the anti-venoms. We have plenty of those, so no reason not to do that. And smite. Nice. 26. Almost done. Confusion spores. That could mess us up quite badly. It did. Fortunately, we're almost done. You move. You attack, I guess. Seven damage and a bleed. Four damage over time is not that great. Let us... Ooh, let us bolster. Holy lands to move him forward, even though it's not going to do as much good. Tree branch smackdown, yep. 11. And that is with a debuff of... Oh, 30% apparently. Okay. Well, I guess that's fair enough then. Alright. We're basically done. So let's try to get a heal in with the Hellion maybe. Alright. It's only a heal of 2. But I'll take everything that I can get. Alright. Well, not particularly great I must say. But... Um, we were a bit unlucky in the end there, of course. Uh, do I want to camp yet? I don't think so. Let's check out this coffin. Treasures. Okay. I will take that. Thank you very much. And then we'll go over here. Though I would like to eat some food with the Hellion. Get her health back up. Use a bandage on these. Uh, combine those. Take all of that. What is that? Cudgel weight. I think I don't have those. And it might be a, it might be a nice trinket to uh, to use, in fact, with the uh, with the Houndmaster. Uh, let's buff up our dodge. Uh, accuracy might have been better in this particular case. But then again, maybe not. It's very possible that the bolster allowed us to move first. Oh my god, two fights in one uh, hallway. That's new. Well, new. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. Um, yeah. Hmm. What do I want to do first? 
I guess reducing the accuracy on the ghoul wouldn't be too bad. No, it wouldn't. If it bleeds on you, try to get rid of that unit as quickly as we can. Uh, bolster, try to dodge the ghoul as well. As well as any other stress attacks, for example the ones from the Enchantress. Although the Crusader should be able to deal with that relatively easily. He's also marked now. Though the Howl is going to ignore the mark altogether. Uh, stun him for the next round. He did indeed get stunned. You, if it bleeds. Um, accuracy now, I think. Oh, I love that you can buff everyone with that. Had I only known... Um, I'm gonna chop him now. We have a bit of time. He does, of course, have a 40% uh, protection, which is kind of high. He is also unholy, which makes our, our Crusader ultimately suited to attack him. Uh, if it bleeds, try to get through that protection with damage over time. He is apparently quite resistant to bleed, even though he really shouldn't be. He only has 40% bleed resistance. Uh, another Intimidate. His accuracy is 8. It did land on everybody regardless though. Even though only the Man at Arms got the stress this time. Hmm. Kind of weird. But I'll take it. Uh, you may as well he heal up. No, you, you get the kill. Why the hell not? goodies um, hmm, I want to keep the key I want to keep that I want to keep that I don't really care about those I'm gonna take the crests instead and don't really care about those either okay not bad all right another room fight so it's a good thing that we go into these dead ends uh, we surprised them, we should probably take advantage of that and try to get as much damage as possible. Although... Um, yeah, this is fine. Unfortunately, this guy has 33% protection, which I don't remember at all, but... Um, yeah, so be it. Breakthrough is not that great right now. We're gonna try to bleed him out. He did resist. His, his bleed resistance is really quite high, so... I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy first. The, they cannot use their ectoplasm as long as all positions in their party formation are filled with units. Alright, we dodged that. Very nice. Another if it bleeds. 11... Once again, no bleed. If we kill him, we wouldn't kill him unless we crit it. Okay, good. One more hit point. Uh, another bolster. The best strategy against these guys is try to get them down as m far as possible without killing them. And then killing them in one round so that they go don't get the chance, hopefully, to use the ectoplasmic perfusion. Or whatever it's called. Alright, keep dodging their attacks, very nice. Uh, let's get some better accuracy now. Uh, you can use a breakthrough, I guess. Now, the problem is targeting the back row, so hopefully the, crusade, uh, the leper goes first so that he can use Purge. And maybe the leper can finish off this guy, but even if he can't... Oh, he might be able to stun him. Like a 60% chance of getting a stun here. I'm gonna try for that, because the chances of that are better than tr trying to get a stun. Okay, he didn't use his ectoplasmic perfusion. So we're kind of lucky in that regard. Uh, let's speed up a little bit, make sure that we get our turns first. Yeah, breakthrough is not great, but I'll take it. Every damage point counts this time. Alright, not bad. Uh, we don't really want the deeds. Gonna stress down our man at arms. Very good. And move back our crusader. Right, things are not going too badly, I must say. Of course, the dungeon is still young. Alright. 
Right, where to go? I guess this way would be good. Yeah. Loot. A bit of food and a bit of gold. I like it. A hungry vents. Don't particularly like it, but I'll take it. Alright. We don't know what is in here. It could be a fight. It isn't. And we do get a scout, which is kind of good. Alright, I am going to go up, of course. Ooh. I may, in fact, go <laughs> in a circle here. We have something to use our key on, which is good, I suppose. A valuable belongings. Are you kidding me? You call that valuable? It's not valuable at all. But we have a nice stack of citrine now, so I'm not going to dump that, uh, I am guessing, in the near future. Unless I get something which is a lot better. Alright, more loot and something that we need, another key for, which we don't have. Let's eat a bit of food here. Take the gold. I believe you can use a shovel. Although I'm not 100% sure, no effect. Okay, well apparently not. Let's take the gamble, although I think you have a chance of getting a bleed here. So who has the best bleed resistance? 50, 60, 60... And you've also got 60. So I guess you're the one to do it. Because you have the highest health. It's trapped. Oh, it would have been blight. Oh well, whatever. And we are back. Well, I dare say this little um, little detour was worth it. We did get a bit of loot from that, at least. Now, what do I want to do? I could use torches or I could use the campfire. Although we're almost out of food already, so I guess to using torches here is the better play. Especially since we're not doing that badly on health and stress. And even if the Crusader got stressed out, that was kind of the idea today. 90, 90, 70, 70. Uh, you do it. Mm, bollocks. Fight here. Ooh, a frothing madman. We did get the surprise off, fortunately enough. Uh, let's go for it with accuracy, because we already go before they do. Although reaching them is going to be a bit of an issue here. Um, this is not too bad. But this is a hell of a lot better. They have very high protection. It's really unfortunate. We could... Uh, intimidate both of these. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds great to me. Debuff them both. Okay, Holy Lands. Could try to get rid of him. But then again, it's pretty much guaranteed that we can get rid of her. Ugh! Crit chance of 19% though. I'm gonna go for that. Ah, oh, minimal damage. I think. Well, too bad. It was worth a gamble. Fortunately, the Crusader can deal with the stress damage that we're now receiving. Eldritch push. Yeah, push him back. It would be great. Ah. Otherwise, we would have been able to use the Holy Lens again, which would have been great. Groping swipe. They have been debuffed, but this is still pretty bad. And it also causes a blight, apparently, nowadays. Didn't know that. More stress. As long as they keep targeting him, I'm kind of okay with that. Maybe I should... Um, mark him? Oh, damn it. Uh, breakthrough is looking a lot better here. Alright. And then... Then what? With the purge, we also cause a knockback of three. Which might come in handy. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, actually. Oh, that was the wrong ability. Whoops. <laughs> uh, my bad. Next time, next time. Um, increased accuracy is not going to be that great if we don't... Uh, ow! Um, what are we going to do here? 
I kind of want to smite, I kind of want to stun, I kind of want to do everything. Uh, but I think moving back is might even be the better option here, simply so that I can use Holy Lance again. Eighty-five is still okay. Uh, yeah, let's bolster. You do another intimidate. I kind of would like to use purge. Hmm. I think purge might still be. A no, actually, it kind of isn't. I don't think that fungal grabbers are that uh, hindered by being in the third position. They might be, but I'm not too sure about that. So I'm gonna intimidate instead. All right, nice. We crit it. And you use if it bleeds against him. We landed it, very good. You use an anti venom and then Holy Lens, like I said, didn't get the kill! One hit point! Rent the marked, he dodged it, very good. Another one, dodged it again, very good. That's what the bolster is good for. Uh, yeah, I guess I keep on doing this. Oh, um, yeah, I keep on doing this. Accusation, one damage and ten. He's at 95. 95. Another, if it bleeds against him, then he will probably bleed to death. No, he wouldn't. Uh, how are we gonna reach him? It's really a problem. Let's move him back again. I don't really see another way around it. Groping swipe. Dodged it. Very good. Alright, he is going to receive... If we bleed him again, but then again we may as well kill him straight away. Let's do that now, actually. Alright. Breakthrough is not that useful if it bleeds. Well, breakthrough is kind of the only useful thing that she can do. Except for buffing up, which could be quite handy. Accusation, da ah, there we go, there we go, here we are. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Yeah! Very good. <laughs> Focus. Don't know what it does, but I like it. Um, let's bolster. Because we want to keep on dodging with the leper, if we can. Holy Lands to get rid of the madman, finally. <laughs> Now, of course, he gets all of his crits, which is kind of to be expected, honestly. Groping Swipe might get him def down to death's door, but not if it misses, of course. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Accuracy or Bolster? Bolster doesn't cause any crit or anything like that. Let's actually protect the leper. You... use a breakthrough? <laughs> She's now kind of useless, actually. Uh, chop. Another 6 damage. And you smite. Ah, we're not even done yet. And he still gets a turn. Wow. 6 damage. With a blight. Um, yeah. Let's use a bolster now. Breakthrough. That actually got the kill for us. Okay. Quite a lot of loot, to be honest. That's... Kind of good, I guess. Uh, you use the anti-venom, take that. Alright, not looking too bad, although we could do with a campfire simply to buff up our health. Because we still have a few rooms to go and we would like, of course, to fill this slot with something other than... Uh, than, uh, than a firewood. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna camp here. Feasts. Or, yeah, I guess we're gonna feast, yeah. Hopefully we can come across a bit of food, that would be nice, but we'll see about that later. Um, stand tall, come there, no, I don't really want that. Increase the accuracy, increase the damage, oh, I love that one, wanna use that one? Uh, maintain equipment, self only, increase damage, accuracy, and crit chance, he doesn't really need that, but maintain equipment is nice. Then, all companions reduce stress, no, all companions re receive less stress damage, that could be good, for 4 points. 
Uh, reflection would be good. Yeah, let's use that one, and then we're gonna use the unshakable leader, I think. And then we have one point remaining, but we cannot use that, so we're gonna rest. No ambush. Could have given us a bit of loot, but we still have a long way to go anyway. Too bad. Dogs. Nashers, in fact. They can be quite nasty. They can land bleeds, they can land diseases. But our Hellion should be able to do well against them. Ugh. Although she is going to receive a lot of bleed from them. I could use an Adrenaline Rush, but I would rather use the Breakthrough. Because this is kind of the ideal set of opponents for that. That wasn't particularly great, I must say. Uh, chop. One down. No corpses. Our health is also already ca looking kind of low again. Uh, what is their speed? Nine. Is there any way that we can go faster than them? Um, not unless we bolster two times in a row. So I guess... Accuracy might be worth it. But... Then again, protection might be good here. So let's protect our Herlion. And then he is going to do focused, a stress heal and nothing else. Okay, fine. That is perfectly all right. Let's try to get the kill here. Very good. And then he goes first, indubitably. Rapid rush, dodged it, all right. Then we're probably gonna be fine. Let's use an, an adrenaline rush simply for the two hit points that it gives us. And then you can chop him to death. Thousand gold for a few dead dogs. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Disarm 90. Hmm. I'm gonna do it with the Crusader because if he gets stressed because of this, his uh, his virtue may. He's probably going to take care of that. Oh, we're out of torches as well. Interesting. This dungeon is going to turn into a bit of a darkless... Uh, a torchless run. Stressful incantation. Good thing that we dodged. Please dodge it again. Unfortunately, he did not. His stress is now up to 37. Let's use a break. The rule. Or if it bleeds. Hmm... I, I'm thinking an if it bleeds. Intimidate could be good. This might... This is actually quite likely to get the kill. So let's do that. Even though it, he might respawn that one immediately. Okay, good. He didn't. Oh no, he didn't. Then we're gonna... Pull bolster. Only lands, no crit, unfortunately. Eldritch push would not be good on our leper. He resisted it. Well done. Well done indeed. Successful incantation. Once again, it lands. He's back up to 58. Eldritch. Uh, not an Eldritch push breakthrough. <laughs> Don't know how I. Got that wrong, but anyway, uh, Defender, yeah, let's bolster again. We want to dodge as much as we can today. Alright, no more ectoplasms. And you can do that. And then we probably want to use a Purge, kind of depending on what happens next here. Um, defense, no, keep on bolstering. Uh, Purge. Alright. Didn't expect that to get the kill, but it was worth a shot. Alright. Not bad, not bad. We don't have a key anymore. Uh, but we have a new anti-venom, which is kind of good. And we have now all two and a, uh, one and a half stacks of citrine. Which is unusual. Mostly because I tend to dump it rather quickly, that stuff. And not going to touch that. I don't even know what it does, but 
I have no faith in my ability to be able to deal with that. Alright, another fight. Alright, another Madman. Well, hopefully our man at arms will be fine. Then again, he might not be. Especially since the Madman is in the back row again. And the front row is kind of powerful. But this helps. This helps a lot, in fact. Um, what do we want to do here? I guess he doesn't want to protect, because that only draws more attention to him from the Madman. Let us inf instead use a bolster, simply for the dodge and the increased speed. We are also going to intimidate, probably, with our Leper. Yeah, he can use an anti-venom. And then intimidates. Even got a crit there. Alright, Holy Lance. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're in excellent shape now. Other than the health on our front two units. You tried to bleed him. He resisted it. Uh, more dodge, more defense. I guess more defense is fine now. Uh, reduce damage even further. And you keep hacking away at them. Groping swipe lens on our men at arms. And we keep on dodging them. Their accuracy has also been lowered. That's quite cool, in fact. Let's increase our dodge to, um, to kind of counter it. And the next time we're gonna guard the uh, leper again. Okay, we got a crit there, very nice. And one more to go. Unfortunately, we cannot reach him with damage over time, but I'm sure that we'll be able to take him down eventually. Without too much difficulty. Go forth to victory! Alright, uh, guard again, like I said. That was not guard. I thought I clicked this button, but apparently I didn't. Oh well. Buster's fine too. Doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't even make a difference at all. Although maybe because we were a bit faster we were going before he did. So I guess it could have made a difference there. Um, we I kind of want to keep all of that except for the holy water. Because I want this. I could also, um, I probably need to uh, dump even more depending on what I find in this chest. A key. No, I don't think that I'll take that. In fact, I'm gonna dump the Ds as well for the Jade. And the skeleton key, it's very unlikely I think that we... It is possible though. Let's, let's dump the shovels. Ah, uh, it could be a grave. Bandages? Let's dump the bandages. Because it could be a corpse, but... Even if it is, there's a decent chance that we can get stuff out of it. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, we don't really need deeds at all, so we're gonna take the Onyx instead. And then finally... Okay, so we didn't need any of those special trinkets. Alright then. Um, Get out of here. How much gold? Not too much, I think. Yeah, that's decent. And what bad quirks did we get? Ruined Scrounger instead of Early Riser. That's fine by me. Nervous, I want to get rid of that. Increased scouting chance in the Ruined Stippler will only drink. I don't like that. 10% extra damage for ranged skills. Which I'm pretty sure he doesn't have. Ah, oh, that's just perfect. New quirk resolution. We'll never drink. Well, that's kind of fine by me. It helps me uh, to remember that I shouldn't send them to the bar in the first place. Um, yeah, I probably should send the man at arms for some stress relief, but I'll do that another time. We still have the leper of uh, the hellion to level up to level three. 
Which is going to be interesting. Maybe if one of the characters... Oh, he's also... He's missing? Oh my god. What happened last week? What did I even do? The Boucher has reached new heights, whereabouts unknown. Because I sent them to the tavern. Eh, okay. Well, whatever. That's fine, I guess. 22,000 gold might be enough to do another uh, champion level dungeon. We're kind of uh, bound to do one of those anyway. Because we don't have uh, a lot of characters who can go to lower level dungeons. Anyway... Why was I even looking at the fingers? Alright, I was going to unequip everything and then sort by class. Very well. Okay. Maybe do a drowned crew even? Or a swine god? It's not even that bad of a thought, depending on how well I can level up my characters. But is there perhaps a trinket that I would like? Ooh, ancestor's portrait could be nice. It's also a long... It is a long dungeon. That is both good and bad. I think we should be fine. Yeah, we could be fine with that. Then this one. Is, this one's also quite nice. Feather Crystal. I like it a lot. But then again, that requires the lower level characters, which we which we still have. But unfortunately, the Leper and the Abomination cannot go into the same party. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so that's not an option. That's unfortunately. I like that trinket. Uh, Book of Holiness we don't really want. Necromancer Lord. Another Focus Ring. Another Sacred Scroll. I believe I already have one of those, right? Sacred Scroll. Profane Scroll. Sacred Scroll. Yes, I do. Hmm, okay. Don't really want another, another one in that case. Book of Sanity is not bad. It also gives me a lot of crests. Can we deal with a drowned crew? Drowned crew is unholy, so I could, for example, send our uh, our crusader over there. That could be nice. Yeah, I may do that one, but I'll decide in between episodes. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking. I love knowing that my videos are being watched and appreciated. Anyways, see you next time.